Last week I was contacted by a school employee who told me that Mr. Thompson sent Mr. Showbald, another school employee, to Ace Hardware to talk to the owners about my employment there. Mr. Bakery was told by Mr. Showbald that he would no longer be charging on behalf of West Iron County Schools as Sarah McCord was speaking out against the school. Mr. Bakery told Mr. Showbald that I was no longer employed there as I had left for other employment a couple of weeks earlier. Mr. Showbald said that's all he needed to know. The conclusion, the school will continue to patronize ACE now that they know I am no longer working there. Obviously, I was beyond shocked and appalled. I have worked for the Bakery family for several years. I know for a fact they continually donate to school functions, they pay for advertising for sports and the yearbook and things of the like. They are good people in this community, and this is how the administration treated them. I did contact the Nick, Nick and Ron Bigory in person, <coughs> hoping that this could not be true. It was confirmed to me that this in conversation did in fact take place. Mm -hmm. Upon discussing this at my new place of employment, Northland Service, I was informed that Roy Pollock, the school board president, had contacted my boss, Chris Hughes, and expressed his concerns about my employment there as I was causing trouble at the school. In addition to this, Mr. Polich made it a point to remind Chris of the amount of business he brings to Northland. In the context of bullying, I demand the actions of the Superintendent Chris Thompson and Board President Roy Polich be investigated. Dean Shulwell, where are you? Did Chris Thompson ask you to go to Bigger? He did not. As to the comments you made about me personally speaking to your employer, your employer inquired of me as to whether I would be uncomfortable going to your place of employment because you were there. <clears throat> I specifically informed him I was not. He asked me if I wanted to do something about your employment there. I told him I did not. He then told me he was going to talk to you in hopes that you would <coughs> tone it down so it wouldn't hurt his business. <laughs> <clears throat> he listened to you, you listened to him. I am listening. Be respectful. And if at any time I wanted to go down there and tell him that, I probably could have. But in fact, the option was put forth to me whether I was comfortable going there with you there, and I said I was. The fact of the matter is, I didn't even know you were there. So I don't know what else to say about that. I called Chris Hughes, he's in Mexico. But if you want to clarify that, we can have him issue a statement to you. Okay. 